Hi Toggle, I love working on the computer. I know that Goggle. Toggle, you have told me so much about the internet, but I still don't know how to really use the internet. Can you help me? Sure Goggle, but before that, you will need to know certain facts about the World Wide Web. World Wide Web? What kind of web is that now? The World Wide Web, or simply the web, is the part of the internet that we actually access. It forms only one part of the internet and the only part which can be accessed by any person anywhere in the world. It is called a web because it is a system of billions of interlinked pages that contain a variety of information. To access the World Wide Web, you need a web browser. What is a web browser toggle? A web browser is a program used to locate and display web pages. It also helps you interact with text, images, videos, music and other information located on web pages. Can you give me some examples? Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox and Google Chrome are good examples. Toggle, what's the difference between web pages and websites? The individual pages that collectively form the World Wide Web are known as web pages. They may contain text, images, videos or music. Okay, sometimes a web page may have words that are underlined and colored or a small image called an icon. When you place your mouse pointer over those words or images, the pointer would change to a hand symbol. What does that mean, Toggle? It means that clicking on this text or image will take the user to another page of related information. Oh, that's cool! <laughs> yes, such links of one web page with another are called hyperlinks. So, what's a website? A website is a collection of one or more related web pages linked together through a system of hyperlinks. For example, www.discoveryeducation.com is a website. A website is similar to a magazine. You can move from one page to another on a website using the hyperlinks in the same way that you flip through the pages of a magazine. Okay, now I get it. Now Goggle, let me open the Discovery Kids website for you. Look at these words and symbols at the top of the browser carefully. This is the web address for this website. The web address? A web address is the address or location of a website on the internet. All addresses start with either HTTP or www. To visit a website, type the address of the website in the address bar and then press the enter key. Goggle, the first page that opens when you type in a website address is called the home page. Also remember that you should type the address on a website correctly without leaving any space between the words or letters or symbols. Okay Toggle, Toggle, but what if I do not know the address of a website and wish to search the web for information on a particular thing? It is quite simple Goggle, just like you look at the contents page of a book to know on which page the required chapter starts. Similarly on the internet we use a search engine. A search engine? I do not see any engine here. <laughs> a search engine is a program that searches through a collection of web pages for information on a specific topic or theme. That is what we used to search for the list of bookstores in our neighborhood the other day. How does a search engine help us search for anything on the web? Search engines allow you to enter a keyword or phrase that indicates the information that you want. It then scans the internet, searches for the information and displays a list of websites with related information. Cool! Can you give me some examples of search engines? Sure Goggle, www.google.com and Yahoo Search are two good examples. Toggle, yesterday my mom sent a greeting card through the internet to my aunt who lives in London. Pretty soon she sent a thank you message to mom. It was so fast. That's the power of email. Email? Yes, I have heard about it. Can you tell me more on how it works? An email is an electronic message sent from one computer to another which can include text, pictures and even sound. Wow! 
Through the internet, this whole process takes just a few seconds, allowing you to communicate quickly and easily with millions of people around the world any time of the day or night. Gosh, that's cool. It is so much better than having to send a letter or a courier. Yes, Goggle, a letter or a courier would require both time and money, while the internet can do it for you almost free and also save a lot of time. How can I send or receive emails from my friends? For that, you as well as your friends will have to open an email account with any email service provider. Will I have to pay money to open an account with an email service provider? <laughs> no, not really. Many service providers such as www.google.com, www.yahoo.com and www.outlook.com offer email accounts free of charge. They will charge money only if you want to use more space for your mailbox. All you have to do is to register, choose an email ID and create a password to avail the free service. Do I have to use only my computer every time I send or receive an email? No goggle, you can access your mailbox from anywhere provided you have an internet connection. I'll do one thing, I'll quickly open an email account for you goggle. How's that sound? Cool toggle, please do. There you are, your inbox. Wow, thanks toggle. Tell me, whom do you want to send an email to? Can we send a message to my friend Chanila? Sure, why not? First click on the compose button. All right, done. Now what, Toggle? Now to compose a message and send it to your friend, first type the email address of the person you want to send the message to. Shanila's email address is shanila at the rate yahoo.com. Good. Now in the subject line, type a brief description of the message. Done that? Next, type in your message in the main message box and then click on send. What if I want to read the message again? By default, a copy of the sent message is stored in the sent folder. Oh great! I have sent a message to Shanila. Now I too can send emails to all my friends. Yes, Goggle. Now you know quite a bit about the internet and also know how to send emails to all your friends around the world. However, there is a set of rules known as netiquette that you should follow. Netiquette? What is that? Well, Goggle, netiquette means the etiquette needed when you are on the internet. The internet, just like the world we live in, has certain rules that people should follow. So tell me, what are these set of rules or netiquette that I should keep in mind? When using the net to send mails to others, you should always spell check what you have written to help others understand you correctly. Do not use all caps in your mails or online messages because it is considered shouting. Be truthful in the information you provide online. However, mind the rules for safety that you have been told about. Be yourself even when you are online and do not say or do things that you will not do otherwise. Ok Toggle, I promise to always keep these rules in mind while surfing the net or while sending emails to my friends. Besides netiquette, there are also some safety measures that you should take while using the internet. Safety measures while using the internet? But why are these needed? Look Goggle, the internet may be a wonderful place and can be a lot of fun besides being an amazing source of useful information. However, just like the world outside, it can also be a scary place at times. Keep the following, following safety tips in mind when you are online. Do not give out personal information on the internet like your address, telephone number, parents work address or name and location of your school without your parents permission. Ok, what else? If you join a game or chat group on the internet with your parents permission, you should never give out your password to anyone in that group. You should immediately inform your parents if you come across any information that makes you feel uncomfortable. Never send anyone your picture or your personal data on the internet without asking your parents. Do not respond to any messages that make you feel uncomfortable in any way. 
always communicate with your parents so that together you can set up rules for going online. Okay, Toggle, I will definitely follow these safety rules while using the net. Great, then go ahead and explore the net, Goggle.